Hello friends, welcome to your channel Phylab. Learn, analyze and build physics concept. Channel dedicated for understanding physics at plus two level. Thanks to all of you for browsing into this channel. Kindly subscribe to this channel if you haven't done up till now. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video or solution from Newton Physics textbooks. Hello friends, today we are about to discuss the problem number 17th as you can see. Calculate in the given combination of four resistors, equ equivalent resistance between points A and B, potential difference between point A and B and currents in the various resistors. The figure is drawn over here as you can see. So friends, as you can see, this point happens to be node and this point also happens to be the node. Why these two points are the node? Let me call them as N1 and N2. You can see at least there are three different current carrying path. This is one current carrying path, this is another and this is another. Now, here the in entering current is 2 ampere. So let me say if I1 current goes in the upper branch and I2 current goes in the lower branch, so I1 is going to flow through this entire three resistors, isn't it? I1. And when the current flow remains the same, the circuit or elements are connected in series. And if you also note, if this N1 and N2 is R2 nodes, then this happens to be a branch. So this is one branch and this is another branch. In a branch, in a branch, all the circuit elements are connected in series. So in a branch, circuit elements are connected in series. And if you are not aware about the terms node, branch or mesh, please refer to my earlier videos given in the description link. Now, all these three resistances thus in are in series. So this equivalent one can be redrawn as 2 ampere. And here, 6, 4 and 2, since they are all these three resistances are in series, so they happen to be of 12 ohm. Is that clear? Now if you notice 6, 4, 10 and 2, 12 are and this, this is my node N1 and then I have got 9 ohm. So 9 ohm is connected over here and then I have got a node, let me put this as a node, N2. Isn't it? Now this is 12 across the node N1 and N2. This is node N1, this is node N2. 12 ohm and 9 ohm are connected in parallel across same pair of nodes the branches are always in parallel so 12 ohm and 9 ohm are in parallel so resistance in parallel is given by the formula r1 r2 upon r1 plus r2 as you already know that 1 upon rp is equals to 1 upon r1 plus r2 so i would like you to learn instead of this formula prefer to learn this formula rp is equals to r1 r2 upon r1 plus r2 therefore rp is equals to 12 into 9 upon 12 plus 9 and that is 12 into 9 upon 21 3 9 3 3 is a 9 and 3 7 is a 21 and 12 3 is a 36 by 7 is the total net resistance of the given circuit the question now also asks us to find out the potential drop across the points a b now potential drop across points a b or across the nodes a b will be v is equals to ir ohm's law i always prefer to call this as salman ohm's law so that you can remember v so v is equals to v uh, implies for v is equals to ir so how much current is entering in the circuit that happens to be 2 ampere what is the net resistance that is 36 by 7 uh, so the potential drop across a b is simply 72 by 7 volt this is a potential drop across the two now the potential drop across the nodes if v a b or if v then across each branches the potential drop is going to remain the same so if i call this as a branch one and this as a branch two so the potential drop across the node a and b or node n1 and n2 happens to be 72 by 7 so the potential drop across the branch one is also potential drop across branch one is also 72 by 7 volt and potential difference across branch 2 is also 72 by 7 volt is that clear now I know the potential drop I know the resistance I'm looking for the current flowing in the branch 1 so the current flowing in the branch 1 let me call it as I1 will be the potential drop upon the net resistance what is the potential drop of the branch 72 by 7 and what is the net resistance that happens to be 12 12 6 are 72 so the current happens to be 6 by 7 ampere similarly 
Similarly, the current flowing through the branch 2, that let me call it as I2, will again be V by R. What is the pot uh, potential drop across the branch 2? That is also 72 by 7. And what is the resistance of that branch 9? And if I divide that, I would get, get the result as 8 by 7 ampere. I hope that makes the question clear to all of you. Thank you. Hoping guys, you all must have enjoyed learning with this video. Please share this video with your friends and classmates and add in your comments which topics you want me to do for you or any specific numerical problems you want me to solve for you. Thank you and enjoy learning.